Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frischette. All right, 646 on your hump day right now. We're getting closer and closer to the weekend. Long weekend. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Yeah. And uh, the forecast looks great, too. We're going to take a deep dive into what it looks like right now. There are some showers mm. to uh, watch out for. We'll tell you when those are in just a couple seconds. First, I want to take you outside to Middlebury. Our photographer Skyler's bringing us a nice shot of Route 7 this morning. You're looking live there at the intersection of Cross Street, and you can see a beautiful clear sky overhead. Just a nice start to the day across the region with a mostly dry scan here on Storm Tracker, barely seeing any clouds in the sky, but that will change later today as this weak cold front tries to come in. You can see some widespread showers, but most of this moisture will actually miss us to the north. So as the front comes closer, all it really amounts to are just increasing clouds and a spot chance for a shower or a weak thunderstorm. I think most towns today will remain dry. Tomorrow is quiet and seasonable, but then it turns briefly hot and humid Friday. Then another cold front comes in for the weekend, which keeps us seasonable and mostly dry. I say mostly dry because we will have to watch for some showers early Saturday morning as that cold front makes its closest pass. I think it clears by the afternoon highs in the 80s there actually 80s all weekend long Sunday and Monday look really nice with partly to mostly sunny skies dry weather. So if there uh, have any fireworks plans either of those days, I don't anticipate any weather issues, at least not at this point. We'll keep you updated as we get closer. Chile and Saranac Lake 45 degrees. They were down to 39 a little while ago. Everybody else in the low and mid 50s this morning, 52 plus. Plattsburgh 57 in Burlington and a little bit of patchy fog forming east of the Green Mountains in Montpelier, Lebanon, probably up towards Morrisville as well. Saranac Lake also seeing a little reduction in vis visibility, but you know the drill as the sun gets a little higher, all of that will burn off. So what happens today? Sun will give way to clouds and then showers and storms become possible by the evening commute. Again, most towns will not see that today. But there is a chance, at least in the northern half of the region, that you'll run into one of the one or two of those as you're driving home from work. So no issues through about two, three o'clock. Here comes the front's closest passage with just an isolated shower or storm flaring up. Note that this is mostly in the northern half of the region. Farther south, it looks mostly dry, just an increase of the clouds in the afternoon. And then Thursday morning, we see a partly sunny start to the day with a lot of sunny breaks throughout. Thursday actually looks like a really nice day with a seasonable temperatures, highs in the 70s there, upper 70s. And that's your Friday, which is looking mostly sunny, but some, some passing clouds, maybe a spot shower in the afternoon. Remember, this is the warm day with highs surging into the 80s and yes, 90s in the Champlain Valley, probably mid 90s down towards the upper valley, but it's just a one day thing. It's not sustained. Remember, we cool off for the upcoming weekend with highs in the 80s, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Back half of the holiday weekend looks the driest, and then we're back in the 70s as we look past the holiday. Sarah.